Topic is effective child discipline. Effective child discipline. Our scripture for today's meditation is taken from Proverbs chapter 19 verse 18. Chasten your son while there is hope and do not set your heart on his destruction. My friends, our children are our joy. Our children are our heritage and gift from God. But when they go astray, when they misbehave, when they hurt us, when they go far away from God, we are disappointed. We are angry. We are annoyed. Sometimes we don't even know how to handle them or train them. Hebrew chapter 12, verses from 5 to 12, helps us how to discipline our children. Today, let us hear three suggestions how to straighten our children from Hebrew chapter 12. Number one, let our children understand that discipline is for direction. Discipline is for direction. Let the children understand that they are disciplined not because you don't like their attitude or behavior. Rather, let them understand you are trying to guide them to the right direction. Number two, let your children understand the short-term pain is for long-time gain. Let me say it again, second point. Let your children understand the short-term pain is for long-term gain. When you discipline your children, let them not be frustrated. Let them not realize or you don't understand them. Rather, let them understand that discipline is painful for a short time, but it is a long-term gain. And number three, from Hebrew chapter 12, 5 to 12, let them understand the purpose of your discipline. Let your disciplinary be constructive and straight to the point. Explain our children the consequences of their behavior. Let them feel you love them and you support them through this disciplinary. My friends, are you really tired of training your children? Are you unable to discipline your children due to the world situations? Are you scared that your children will lose their eternal destiny? Here is the prophecy from Isaiah chapter 54, verse 13. It says, All your children shall be taught by the Lord, and the great shall be the peace of your children. My friends, God will help you and give you strength and give you wisdom to train your children. Let's pray. Thank you so much, dear Lord, for our children. It is your marvelous gift that you have given us our children. But many of our children are going astray, behaving wrongly. But please give us wisdom, dear Lord, to train them effectively so that our children will understand that we love them, we support them, we want them to be with Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for these three lessons and help us to implement when we train our children. In Jesus' mighty name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. God bless you all. Amen.